Hello and welcome to another Total AV tutorial video. Today we're just going to run through some of the basics of submitting files and websites to us for analysis. So you join me um, with a browser window open on totalav.com forward slash submit. This website or web page, sorry, is, um, is as a portal, if you like, where you can submit files for us to analyze, uh, not just files, websites as well. So anything that you believe to be malicious that Total AV isn't detecting, you can submit that here, or anything that Total AV is detecting that you think it shouldn't be, you can submit that as a false positive here. So um, it's very simple. I won't, I won't run through the details too much. Whenever you're submitting a website, enter your name, email address, provide as much detail about how you found the website, why it's bad, um, or why it's not bad in the case of a false positive, and please make sure you enter the, the website address um, uh, correctly on there. Um, what I'm going to run through though, the bit that causes a little bit of confusion, is dealing with malicious files or false positive files. So we ask um, anyone submitting these to us to actually um, attach them to this form. Um, and what, what we need you to do is actually um, compress or zip the, zip the file before you send it to us um, and password protect that file. That's just for our uh, labs team security when they receive th this file, you know, depending on how malicious it is, this is just a security measure that we need in place um, just for our safety when we're analyzing it. So I'm just gonna run you through that process um, quickly. So I'm not gonna click on choose files here yet. I'm just going to use this, this dummy um, application that I've got over on the desktop that I've just renamed Nasty Malware. So if we right click on that, you can see we've got a option for 7-zip, which is a, a free um, zipping application. Now, you see here where we've got this link to zip file. If you click on that, it opens up our support center and explains a bit about what what, the, what I'm going to explain in this video. Um, and this, this link here, this is the application I prefer called 7-Zip, completely free, won't interfere with anything on your computer, nice little lightweight application, it's the one I recommend, 7-Zip. So that's what we're going to use in this video. So going back to that, if we right click on that again, go to 7-Zip and say add to archive. Um, do, do, and then as it says here on the guide, password protect the zip file with the password infected. I'm going to type that in down here and re-enter. And this is currently set to output this new zip or archive file onto my desktop. So I'm going to click on OK. And sure enough, there it is. So now click on choose files desktop, select zip file, and it's attached. So, I'm not going to fill this in while we're on a video tutorial, but as I said, name, email address, description of the problem, click on submit, and that will go through to our labs team who will investigate it and do the necessary to either block or unblock the file from Total AV. Uh, so that pretty much summarises um, submitting files and websites to us for analysis. Thank you very much for watching and as always if you need any further help please drop us an email at support at totalav.com and we will reply within 24 hours with a solution to your problem. Thank you very much, bye for now.